All right, welcome to Power Reel's HIT Workout, High Intensity Interval Training. We're gonna get that heart rate up nice and high and then recover. 30 seconds of our low interval, then we're going 30 seconds of our high interval. Three times through, you'll get a minute of rest in between. Okay, does that sound good to you? Okay, so the first two exercises that we're working with, and you can grab any of your resistances here, um, yellow is going to be the lightest, is we're going into a narrow pulse with your feet in squat position, just like this. And then we're going to go down for 30 seconds for a low interval, then we're going to bring it up into a jump squat with a shoulder press. You ready? Set. Go. Let's pulse. Down and up. Hips back. Lean into those heels, gang. Just warm up those legs. Get ready for your high interval and breathe, don't forget to breathe. Those, those shoulders will start to fire up, but that's what the power reels are great for. All right, be ready. Eight seconds. We're going into our first high interval. In four, three, two, let's go. Bring it up. Yeah. Get as high off the ground as you can. Now, if you need a modification, just stay on the ground. Maybe get onto those toes. All right, and keep going for those 30 seconds. 15 to go. You got it. Dropping those heels, dropping that bottom, firing up. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, back to the pulses. Let's go, down and up. Good, and an important thing when you're doing the squats, even the jump squats, is to keep those knees pointed straight ahead, all right? So they're tracking over the toes. How are you feeling, gang? Katie, you good? All right. Good. Catch your breath. Active recovery. And we're going to go down into our jumping squat again in five. Keep pulsing. I know the shoulders are on fire. Ready? Go. Down and up. Up. Woo! Looks good, gang. Get as high as you can. Now. If you're starting with a heavier resistance on that power reel, you can lighten it up. 15. Good. Jump it up. 10. You got this. And if you need a little rest, take that rest and come right back in with us. Three, two, one. Final set through. Heart rates are up. Ours too. This is a good workout. It's a great calorie burning workout. Good, breathe. Down and up. Final high interval of this first circuit. Coming up. And 10. Pulsing. Good. Activate those upper back muscles. Four, three, two, go. Up. You got it. Final one. Power it up. It's in you. 20, 15 seconds of your best work. Down and up, 10, breathe, push those power reels, four, three, two, one. Woo, I know, great job on that first circuit gang. All right, we have 60 seconds to recover, so grab some water, towel off if you need it. And I'll be telling you what the next exercise is. Oh yeah. So we're gonna start with our feet together. We are doing a step out with a sweep. Moving those reels with one palm down, bring it outside that leg you step into, all right? So we're just alternating. We're working on strength, but we're getting that heart rate to recover while still working, all right? Then we're going into our high interval and we're gonna be going into a skater and bring that opposite reel across into a punch. Ideally, keep that leg off the ground, but if you need to touch down for a modification, that's totally fine too. All right, feeling good? I know. All right, in eight seconds, we're going. Take a couple more deep breaths here. We're starting with our step outs in three, 
two, go, step, switch. See how I flip that reel? Bring it right past the side, and I'm in a semi-squat position. Shoulders are coming down, sweeping that power reel right past your hip. Belly button's in tight. There you go. Shoulders are activated. Working those hips. Eight seconds to our high interval. Don't forget, we got skaters. Three, two, one. Bring it across. Let's go. Boom. Boom. You got it. Now, the bigger the jump, the more you're going to get out of it. The lower you punch, the more you're going to get out of it. So keep punching, keep pushing like they're doing. You want a modification? Put that foot on the ground. You got it? Here we go. Eight seconds. Last four, three, two, go back into the step outs. Let's go. Switch. Nice. Get a little lower. Just a little lower. Core is in tight, chest is high. Smile. This is good for you. You got it. How you doing, Sergio? He's rocking back there. 10 seconds. Skaters are coming up. We got this. Guess what? You're gonna get better and better at that with every workout you do. Three, two, one, let's go. Punch, jump, jump. You got it. Get low. Leaning into your heel, punching that power reel across. Now, if you're feeling like you need to lighten the resistance a little bit, go down, grab the lighter resistance, all right? 10 seconds. Pushing, five. One more set through. Three, two, one step, let's go. Heart rate's up. This is training your body. Get low into that squat. We're training that heart. We're training those muscles to work hard and then recover. And like I said, every time you do this workout, you're gonna get a little and a little bit more better at doing each of these exercises. Last set, coming up. Three, two, you ready gang? Let's go. Push, hop it. Can we make a bigger hop gang? Let's go. Come on, Wit. Push. Get those power reels in there. Foot down if you need it. 15. Yes. A little lower with that bottom. Seven. Woo. Yeah. Three, two, one. Good job, circuit two. Done. Great job on circuit two in your HIIT workout, gang. All right, grab some water, towel off. You're gonna need it because we're going into circuit three of five of these circuits for the high and low intensity workouts. Let me show you what's going on. We're gonna take these reels behind the back, see? You wanna make the adjustment to make sure that they're go to full length for you. You're going into reverse lunge, so you're gonna drop back with one leg. The opposite hand comes around, palm down. Step those feet together and you're gonna switch. Forward leg stays right up over that knee. Got it? From there, we stay in this position, whoop, and we're going into plyo lunges. All right, 30 seconds of each. Feels good, just make sure that your clothes don't get snagged up in it, and neither does your hair, and we'll get going from there. All right, that's an important thought. All right, we're going in five, four, three, you ready gang? Two, one, let's go back with one leg, punch and twist. And as you drop into it, allow that shoulder to come across, because that's when that core is really gonna kick in. And we're keeping that chest high, making sure that when you drop into that lunge, that forward knee stays right up over the ankle. Keep going, gang, we got 10 seconds. You got it. Boom. Activate those legs. Four, three, Hold it down, gang. Bring those arms out in front of you, and let's go into plyo lunge. I know. Hey, Burns. Right, Katie? I know. All right, keep that there. Woo! Move it around. And if you need a little modification, just a nice, quick reverse lunge. Hang in there. Activate those arms. We're holding that press. Eight. 
five, four, three, two, one. Bring them back, lunge. All right, take your time. There's no rush. We're bringing that heart rate down. We're getting that lactic acid to kind of subside a bit because there's a big burn going on. Woo! It's not just you, we're feeling it too. We're working out. 10. Second set of plyo lunges coming up. Woo! Three, two, let's hold it down and go. Lunge, lunge. Watch them get down. Chest stays high, arms stay activated. Let's get those palms down. Chest is high right here, making sure that that core is activated. Back here, looking good, Sergio. Ideal form right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Settle that heart rate, go back down. Last time through. And just like they're doing, switch it out. That's why we have more than one resistance. Good, breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. We are training that body, training it to be better, to be fitter, to be stronger. And with the power reels, we get to constant resistance for constant muscle tension. Ready, set, let's go. Last set. Woo! 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30, right? Power. Strong. Dropping that back knee down. You got it. Keeping that chest nice and high. We got 10 seconds. I'm doing it with you. Woo! Five, three, two, one. Woo! Great job. Great job on circuit three, gang. Two circuits to go. We totally got this. Let me demonstrate, grab some water, towel off. We're gonna start with plank position. So I just wanna show you while I'm standing, your reels are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're gonna put them down on the ground at that distance. Bring your feet back into a full plank. 30 seconds, low intensity, ready, set, go. Reach it across. Now it's important in plank position that your shoulders stay right up over your reels and your hips stay level with your shoulders. Don't let them drop, don't let them get too high. You wanna activate that core and the way you do that is having a nice straight line. We're going, be ready for those jacks. Coming up in eight, reach it across. Your modification can be on your knees. Three, two, jump it in gang, let's go. Boom, yes. Down and in, up. Keep it going, gang. As they jump their legs back, hips are staying up again, all right? They're staying up nice and high. You're loading up those shoulders. As you come into that jack, pull those arms to a Y. 10 seconds, let's go. Up, there you go, heart rate. Three, two, one, hold plank. Bring it across, touch. Switch, touch. Again, keep those reels shoulder width apart. Looking good, Sergio. Reaching that arm across. Modification can be coming down onto your knees if you need to. Otherwise, stay up. You can even hold plank. Five seconds, gang. We're going into jacks. Three, two, jump it in. And up, huh. there you go. And up, heart rate's up. Boom, get your arms as wide as you can. Activate those shoulders, jump it off the ground. But if you need to keep your feet on the ground, you can totally do that too. 10 seconds and we have one more round through. Boom. Woo! Stay down. All right, reach it across. Catch your breath. These low intervals are perfect for catching that breath and active recovery. Breathing, we're all breathing really hard. Keeping those shoulders right over the reels. Taking your time, keeping those hips low. There you go. Five seconds, you ready for your final high interval? 
They're gonna do this. Ready, set, go. Jump it up. Boom. Out, in, up. Shoo. Finishing it up nice and strong. Breathing hard. You got this. This is our toughest workout of the series. Totally doable though. Every time you come back to this workout, it's gonna get a little easier. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Circuit four done. Nice work, everybody. Circuit four is done. One more circuit to go. Go ahead and grab some water, towel off, and I'll show you what's next. So we're gonna take it to the ground. We're gonna take it down a notch, which will feel great. So come on down into sit-up position. Let's bring that reel behind your back. So you wanna make sure that your clothes aren't getting snagged and your hair is out of the way. Your feet are flat to the ground. You're going all the way down, coming up, and you're gonna reach across with that fly arm, okay? Down and up. So you're alternating sides, working that core, but also working obliques and the chest muscles too. From there, we're going to straighten the legs out, and now we're gonna punch to the opposite foot. This is a V up, all right? So now we're punching that arm across your body, nice and strong, doing that as quickly as you can, but with good form. Ready? We're ready. All right, feet are flat, ready, set, all the way down, reach across, bring it up. Good, bring it up and allow that shoulder to come across your body. Exhale as you come up. Good. Reach. Now the way to work those obliques is to flex and rotate as you come up. Is that, that's totally what we're doing. Ready for the next one? Reach down, legs go straight. Let's bring one arm across to that foot. Breathe. Good. Now, if it's tough to keep that leg straight, it's okay. Bend it. Whatever works for you. 30 seconds there. 15 to go. Good. Keeping that leg straight, and if you have a heavier resistance, you can lighten it up if you need to. We're going back to sit-ups. Three, two, one. All the way down, bend those legs. Just bring that into a chest fly. Exhale as you come up. Remember, we're into our last circuit, so we can work. Feeling that in your core, gang? Yeah? Good. Do we need this? Always. Get ready for V-ups. This is our second set going through. Five, three, two, one. Straighten out those legs and bring it up. Good. Reach. Good, you can see that they're getting their legs as straight as possible. But if you need to bend like Sergio's doing, go for it. Give me a little bit more of a bend in that knee. Good, coming up as high as you can. Exhale, eight seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Bend last time through. We totally got this. We got it, nice and strong. Whittle that waist. Fly that arm, use those reels as resistance. You want stronger abs, you want leaner abs, use the reels for them. Moving from a basic sit up and it takes you up a bunch of notches and you get better results. Four, three, two, final one. Straighten out those legs, ready, set, go. Boom. Power through, let's finish out this hit. Good. Strong and straight. Now if those reels are bugging you at all, just lengthen them out a little bit or bring them in front of your body. You can push them from here as well. Looking good, gang. 10. I'm gonna finish it out with you. Three, two, final one. One. Excellent work on that hit workout, gang. Excellent job, gang. Nice work. Woo! We'll see you for the next workout soon.